realest, realest nigga alive. New videos every Thursday all the way from New York City at 10 p.m. to the UK at 3 a.m. Please stand by. I said it's the realest <laughs> nigga alive. Now, if you didn't see this video, go see it now where I explained that if a man has a promiscuously large penis, he looks great, he knows how to cook, he gives great sex, and he does all of these different things, and he's a great husband, then there has to be one thing that's wrong with him. If he seems perfect, then he's a cheater. Thus, explaining the philosophy that every good man is faithful, but every great man is a cheater. Not to my surprise, many women were offended, claiming that if men could be cheaters to practice, then women can cheat to practice as well. Now here's where I tell you that women cheating is not justified, and it is probably one of the most irrational and selfish things that you can do. It is the epitome of greed. Look at the difference between a penis and a vagina. A penis has about three sections. The shaft, the glands, or the tip, the mushroom pad, whatever you want to call it, and the scrotum, which is the, the, the sac. Now look at the vagina, it has many layers. It has the outer labia, the inner labia. There's a G spot, a C spot, an A spot, you know, the clitoris. All of these different layers to a woman. So thus, it is very, very hard to figure out how to please a woman. So a man must go out and cheat with various different women to increase his versatility. So many different layers to a woman, both physically and emotionally, for men to understand. So in order for a man to perfect his craft at pleasing his women, he has to go and find other women to practice on. This way, we don't feel insecure. We have, you know, female friends that we can just have sex with, we practice on, we don't have to answer to them. It does not have to be good to them because at the end of the day, they're not our wife. If we're not eating it right, our friend is not gonna, you know, hold our feelings into consideration. They're just gonna say, listen, man, that shit was whack. You need to step your tongue game up there. You're not hitting the right angles down there. Your wife is not gonna like this shit. I'm gonna tell you because your wife is not. Your wife is gonna be like, yeah, it was beautiful, baby. It was so great. But at the end of the day, your wife is gonna lie to you. When you don't cheat on your wife, your wife is gonna be sitting here lying to your face talking about you giving her great sex. And then you're gonna wonder why she left you out of nowhere when all along it was just the sex. 50% of marriages end in divorces, and a great percentage of that is due to having bad sex. Good sex could fix anything. On the other hand, we have men that are very simple, simple-minded. We can't even hide the fact that we cheat. We can't even hide the fact that we lying. At the end of the day, men don't lie. We can't lie. We may be saying something to you, and our mouth is lying, but our face never lies. Our face always has a stupid look on it when we're lying. So you can tell that we're always telling the truth. A man will never lie to you. So if you ever say, oh, he lied to me, he played me no bitch you're just stupid because a man cannot lie to you a man cannot lie to the average woman you have to be stupid in order to be fooled that's why it's called fooled now you can't fool a man you can only deceive a man because it doesn't matter how smart a man is a woman will always outsmart a man a woman will always be so much more complex for a man to figure out so a man can always get lied to but you just cannot ever lie to a woman anyone can agree with this Anyone that doesn't agree with this is in denial. The difference between trying to figure out how to please a man and trying to please a woman is like the difference between trying to play the triangle well and trying to play the saxophone well. When you play the triangle, you hit it once, ding, has a nice resonating sound, beautiful sound at the first touch. The same way you touch a man's penis and it gets hard, automatically. You beat it off, up and down movements, lateral movements, that's all, and it will come. What woman can't make a man come? Easy. Now you have the saxophone where you have to position your mouth in a certain way. If you just put your mouth on it and just blow, it'll go, ah, ah. Why would you ever want to hear that? That is not a pleasant noise. That is pain. That is a painful noise. You want that. In order to get that noise, you have to practice on different saxophones. You have to practice on the Selmer. You have to practice on the P. Moria. You have to practice on the Yamaha. You have to be very versatile. You have to know how to maneuver your fingers. You have to go to different teachers in order to get insight. You know, I'm going to stick by that metaphor of music because it goes hand in hand. It is so easy to play triangle. Think about how many women look up how to give a hand job. Now think about how many men look up online how to give a nice fingering that will make a woman come. Who the hell doesn't know how to give a hand job? Who doesn't know how to make a man come? By show of hands.
Even a man knows how to make himself come. There are women out there that don't even know how to make themselves come. That proves the complexity of women and that men have to practice. Who the fuck is calling my house? Hello? Yeah. Is there a billion dollars involved? No? Not interested, sorry. Anyway, back to the point. Think about it. Men have so many different reasons to cheat, but women have none. It is not justifiable the same way that men need to cheat. There is a necessity, it's a burning desire. The reason why men have the need to have sex with people is because it's in our genetics, it's in our hormones. We need to do that. We need to spread our seed. We need to have that. We need those lessons. We need to learn how to please our main chick. Our main chick is not gonna tell us the truth when we're not doing things right because they care about our feelings. Female friends and side chicks are gonna tell you to you straight, listen, the head game is whack, you need to fix it. Imagine you go to a salsa band's concert and you see the man has one congo. You're gonna say, wow, that's really whack. He must be pretty terrible if he only knows how to play one conga. Now when you have four congas, you can say, wow, that dude must be pretty damn good, huh? Because you have one conga, you can make the nice, simple, basic rhythm. But it's starting to get boring, right? It's getting annoying. This is your main chick right here. This is what you keep rhythm on. But eventually, you're gonna hit that. You hear that? It spices up things when you have another woman. Besides that, to make it look like you're better, to, to feel better, you get more skills, you get more versatile, you start learning how to do even new things with the main chick just by touching that other drum a couple of times throughout. But, that, but you just gotta make sure that you're hitting that main drum more times and giving that most of your priority. You know what I'm saying? I could have four of them. I could make it even more interesting. Now, if I start to get ahead of myself and I start What the hell is going on? You understand what I'm saying? So, it's good. It's good. I just don't understand. What is the problem with having more than one conga drum? in order to perfect your craft, in order to make yourself better at what you do. You gotta know how to hit it right. You gotta know how to tap it right. You gotta know how to tap the right spots. But if you're just playing on that one conga drum, you're not gonna learn how to appreciate that one conga drum until you start tapping them other drums. Start hearing those other tones. What you know about them odd times? I said it's the realest, it's the realest, it's the realest, 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 the realest. What you know about them prime times? The realest nigga, the realest nigga, the realest nigga, the realest nigga alive. Realest nigga, realest nigga, realest nigga, realest nigga, realest nigga alive. Drop that five plus five plus four. Drop it right now.